Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech lesson. In this video, I'll be showing you how to repair a leaky fork seal using a Motion Pro seal mate. Now this is the same procedure if the fork's still on the bike. It's just a little bit easier to do it with the fork off. The Motion Pro seal mate is just a thin piece of plastic that slides in between the fork seal and the fork tube. When you're rotating the seal mate around the seal, the hook should be on the leading edge. The hook will clean out any dirt that is stuck between the seal and the fork tube. As you can see, this fork leaks a good amount of oil when compressed several times. The first step is to wipe any oil or dirt off the lower fork tube. Then take a flat blade screwdriver to separate the dust seal from the upper fork tube. Clean any dirt or oil off the dust seal and slide it down to the bottom of the fork. To clean in the area of the oil seal, wrap a rag around the flat blade screwdriver and spin it around a few times in there. Now we can insert the seal mate into the seal. The end with the hook is the one we'll use. To clean out the seal, spin the upper tube around several times. Then you can rotate the seal mate around the lower tube. After doing that a couple times, remove the tool from the fork and clean off any dirt that may be on it. Then put the seal mate back in the seal and rotate it around a few times to make sure you've got all the dirt out. Once you're sure that the seal is clean, we'll need to reseal it to the lower tube by compressing the fork several times. Pump the fork about 5 or 6 times and then wipe off any oil that is on the lower tube. You'll need to do this about 10 to 12 times before there's no oil left on the tube. Once there's no oil left on the lower tube, that means your fork seal is clean and it's ready to use. If the fork seal continues to leak, it is most likely damaged and you'll have to replace it. The final step is to put the dust seal back in its place and reinstall the fork back on the bike. Well that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully it helps someone out there. Thanks for watching this tech lesson. If you want to see all the previous tech lessons I've done, you can check them out in the description below.